Ooh, everyone. I'm having a bit of an off day and I'm not feeling very creative. So, so I thought, let's do a tag. This time it's the BookTube tag. I haven't posted any real BookTube bits, I think. But um, it's totally up my alley. Why did you start this channel? I started this channel to document my journey from writer zero to web novel hero. And I didn't know that authortube or booktube um, existed. My plans incorporate some uh, booktubish things like um, bitching about interpretation about some classics. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Dimples? Okay, dimples aren't unique, but I can bring more dimples to BookTube. And uh, yeah, more pink dimples, it's always better than less dimples. What are you most excited for about this channel? Oh, I... I'm having today an off day and I'm not excited about anything at the moment. Maybe I choose wrong to make this YouTube video today. Ah, excited. No, sorry. Maybe we come back to it later. Why do you love reading? I love to broaden my horizon and frankly I'm a bit obsessed with it. And reading is the easiest way to broaden in your horizon. Uh, you can do travel as well, um, but nothing shows you the life and the thoughts and the experiences of other persons and cultures like a fiction novel. To get a feel of a culture, I prefer to read um, the current fiction of this culture more than um, travel logs, because travel books or other non-fiction books, because uh, travel logs and non-fiction books they have an agenda. They want to show you exciting part, a nice part, or if they want or a horrible part, or they have a theme and they are um, streamlined to fit in this theme. But fiction books are about a story or about the characters or about yeah, you can't say what a book what books are general about. That's one of the great uh, things about books. <laughs> So um, I read a lot of Chinese fiction books, pulp fiction books. They call it a bit, a bit other than that in China, but it's not high literature. They are wish fulfillment books. I believe I can glean more from the culture and the mindset and the mood of the people from regular uh, fiction, fantasy and sci-fi books than from any non-fictional book. Sure, you have it to condense the in non-fictional form, but most of the time I think it's very political uh, flavored, especially regarding to China in the last few years with the yellow danger. I believe I got a very good grip on uh, the Chinese uh, culture and I don't th I don't see them as danger. Uh, yeah, similar it is with history books. Yeah, the winner writes the history books and if you read books that were fictional books that were written in a certain time, you get a much richer picture of this time, even if, if the setting of the book isn't in that time, but it's just written in this time. Yeah, and there are some things like people believe that the 
generations before them had no humor. And this is another one of my pet peeves. Cervantes' Don Quixote is a satire book. This isn't lost in history, so I just mention it. But there are a lot of other books who were satire, um, who the people nowadays take serious because they don't expect that people before 1920 have humor. <laughs> It's um, really ridiculous, yeah, in a non-funny way. So, um, reading old books, yeah, I uh, read the first fiction book ever in Germany. I read early way works of fiction like Greek sagas, of course, yeah, Greek tragedies and comedies. I read books from different continents, different countries, and I love it. What questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? One of my favorite booktubers is Cindy Reads, and she has a similar hairstyle than me. And I would ask her about um, how often she uses the razor and if she does it herself. And I'm not even sure if she had cut off both sides. Maybe she only cut off this side and this all is long. Yes, I would use the precious chance to ask a booktuber a question and waste it on hairstyle. What challenge do you uh, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Getting viewers. I mean, I have this uh, channel for a while, and um, I had a gaming channel before, and uh, it wasn't a problem at all at the gaming channel to get viewers, uh, but on authortube and on vlogging, I did. Author tube and uh, vlogging mainly. It is a problem to get viewers. Mm. When did you start reading? I started uh, reading at, sco at school. My grandpa wanted to teach me before school, but I rejected him because I don't, didn't want to be bored in school. <laughs> and After I started to read, I first I wanted to say I never stopped, but I did stop in my twenties for I never did stop reading, but I did stop reading books. I read only fan fiction for a few years, yeah, only online. I have vanished books from my life for a few years now, physical books. Um, I only read digital books now. I started reading the old books from my parents. My mother had many Honey and Nanny. That's an Annette Blyton book. The English title is The Twins of St. Clair or something like this. And um, my father's book, he had many adventure books for kids somewhere really uh, great. Um, Kai Conquers Briggs Holm is a book about a summer camp and the summer camp is a whole society of children. Yeah, I love this uh, very much. I did an inventory when I was around 16, how many books I uh, read. And um, it was nearing the thousand book mark, and there were over hundred hundred and it Blyton books, <laughs> or nearly a uh, hundred. Uh, I think I count that the books on Annette Blyton serials, but not written by Annette Blyton as well. And Karl May books. If you're German, you know Karl May. If you're not German, you probably won't know him. He is one of the originals or current eccentrics. He pretended that all his books were autobiographical. And there were adventure books with Native Americans, 
like the proud wild, the honorable savage type things. And he was a great shoot and yeah, and then some kids played with him, Indians and cowboys, and uh, wrapped him around a, bar, a tree, and he couldn't free himself. <laughs> Great. He captured the hearts and minds of generations of Germans. Yeah, it's great adventure stuff, but in today's age and time, the books would be cancelled from the council culture because of co they were written over 100 years ago so of course they are racist yeah. of course they are not politically correct i mean there wasn't even a democrat crazy in germany when he wrote this so of course they are not democratic the books don't have democratic values at heart or uh, and a uh, woman, uh, you can forget about woman uh, in his books. From today's rigorous point of view of political correctness, they are not great books. But they are great books if you like adventures and posturing and Wild West. Of course, German authors write Wild West, uh, Wild West uh, stories. Uh, Germans love American cu uh, culture and they hate it and they love it and they hate it and uh, they love hate it. Next question. Where do you read? Mostly in my kitchen because I smoke in my kitchen. But I'm reading on my uh, mobile so I read everywhere where I can read. I like the toilet too. Toilet reading. Great. What kind of books do you like to read? I like to read fantasy, sci-fi, and lit RPG, and cultivation novels, and system novels. So I think everybody knows about fantasy and sci-fi. Lit RPG is about people playing video games, from literature and RPG roleplay gaming, Cultivation novels is a Chinese genre. It's about uh, cultivating yourself to reach enlightenment. And um, this enlightenment is quantified. So you have different numerical um, levels of enlightenment and sub-levels of enlightenment. You get uh, to be a powerful, a more powerful fighter the more you are enlightened. <laughs> Great, I love cultivation novels. I read too many in the last years, so now I'm taking a bit of a cultivation novel break, but uh, if there comes a great one in my direction, of course I will read it. Oh, uh, the last one I forgot to explain. System novels. These tie in into the whole game lit and lit RPG, genre and this is like in the web series The Gamer. Maybe you know the manga or comic or whatever it is that you wake up and you have a system which helps you acquire skills, um, get stronger. Yeah, there are a hundred times of different systems and yeah, I like the quantifying stuff. <laughs> That's it. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.